In England, is the experience of sea air and sand between the toes around the corner? As the UK government proposes to ease measures, Neil Woodrow tells us more. The government says just seven weeks away, all being well with the data, people can once again enjoy a family holiday. Before setting off, you should be able to get your hair done and get away from those familiar four walls as some holiday lets can reopen. The golden rules are each unit is limited to one household with no shared facilities. The chair of the Professional Association of South Caterers says most bookings for that time period are normally two households, a young family with the grandparents. When those people come down on the 12th of April for that five week period, there'll be very little for them to be able to do because pubs and restaurants are only allowed to do outside service and most visitor attractions and uh, events will still be closed. So that period 12th of April to mid-May is, 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 a, is a bit of a challenge uh, to make sure that the guest experience is a good one. But he is pleased and sees it as a big positive step forward. So really we see the big reopening date as mid-May, not mid-April, because that's when the visitor economy will be opening up. The association has around 1,000 paying members, which represents over 40,000 self-catering properties in the United Kingdom. Alistair also runs his own self-catering let, and they have many customer calls at the moment. Yes, all the calls so far today uh, and last night are cancellations. Uh, because the groups or dates are either in lockdown or the group size would not be compliant. They then need to quickly remarket the new vacancies. It's not so straightforward as the property owner needs to establish the compliance of the guests within the rules. Because you, you kind of have to turn into the secret police. You have to find out how many they are. <laughs> you know, and these are not questions that you really worry about before. You, we would never have asked owners, uh, guests how many households they were from. Most businesses will still be operating under restrictions until mid-June. Alistair Handyside's hope is that in Monday's budget, the Chancellor will be extending support to the sector, particularly in keeping the VAT rate on holidays to 5% to the end of the year. Neil Woodrow, NTP News.